Our first guest, Jeffrey Wright, just received his first Oscar nomination for his lead performance in the edgy satire that I have fallen in love with, American Fiction. Jeffrey plays Monk, a professor and writer who is fed up with the media, profiting from black entertainment that relies on tried and offensive stereotypes. It is a satire, it is brilliant, but most important, he is brilliant. Take a look. News editors, they want a black book. They have one. I'm black and it's my book. Look at what they expect us to write. Would you read an excerpt? Yo, Sharonda, where you be going in a hurry like that? If and you gots to know, I was going to the pharmacy. If they want stereotypes, I'll give them one. What is this? Deadbeat dads, rappers, crack, and splack, right? Nobody's gonna publish this. Just wanna rub their noses in it. We love it. What? what? It is very, uh... Black? Yes, that's it. I'm happy you said it and not me. <laughs> American Fiction received a total of five Oscar nominations. Best Picture! with all of the nominations and awards and accolades. This, first of all, the book was brilliant. The movie is magnificent. Oh, Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh. So first time Oscar nominated actor. How does that feel? It feels good. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, I, I think it feels particularly good because uh, these are our peers, yeah. our colleagues, who uh, looked at our film and looked at our work and said, uh, yeah, well done. Yeah. You know, we're a, we're a small film. Uh, we took 26 days to make this. 26 days. Yeah, yeah. But we did it, we put a lot of ourselves into it. We yeah. didn't have a lot of resources behind us, but we put a lot of passion and love into it. And we think this story right. is, although it's a small film, it's a big story. It's a big story, and yeah. that's why it fits. You know, our theme for 2024 is 2020 more, and the theme for this whole week is big and bold. And this movie, the book was that, and the movie is that. And I'm sure it feels particularly rewarding to be nominated for a body of work that hits so close to home, so personal for you. Yeah, I, I think uh, this is the most personal role that I've played. I also think that the film is having a conversation yeah. that we all are having yeah. in our country right now. Whether we want to or mm -hmm. not, yeah. uh, we're dealing with issues around identity and race and history, yeah. things that some of us want to avoid, uh, but all of us are informed by. And it is a, a national conversation right now that we handle in a way, I think, that sometimes we don't right. in well, our country. Right, well, that's the genius of it being a satire, right? Because exactly. they always say if you can make people laugh, they'll come to your table. You know, spoonful of sugar. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's what it is, because there are moments, and I, I've... To be honest with you, I've watched it five times. Oh, wow. Because, and I don't do that often, because, you know, we get a lot of movies in, and I'm honored to be able to get screeners. Thank you. And I'm sitting there, and I had to keep re-watching, yeah. because there were so many moments that you think about when you go to bed and you wake up and say, did they, what, wait a minute, yeah. I saw that. I did see your reaction when you heard the nomination, and you talked about your mother, and we have the clip of, I've uh, never seen you like this before. I don't think anybody has. Let's play Get it. to know me. <laughs> yeah, the first person that I acknowledged was my mom. There's a picture of her just there. So, uh, yeah, she and I had a moment. My son saw this film. My mom uh, passed a little over a year before I got the script for this. And uh, when he saw the film, he said, you know, I see a lot of myself in that character you play, but it's also a beautiful homage to grandma. And, uh, and I said to him, yeah, you got it. Yeah. 
Oh. Well, you know, um, I've had a lot of opportunity in my life. Uh, in many ways, my mother early uh, uh, put an, an array of doors in front of me. Yeah. And each one of those doors led to opportunity. Mm. So, you know, there is nothing I do that doesn't come from her. Yeah. So. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but that said, uh. that said, I, I had the great good fortune to be raised by two women. Your aunt. My aunt, who, my mom's eldest yeah. sister, who's 94 years old yes. now. Be, being. And you, she, she was a. She was a nurse. She was a nurse. At DC General Hospital DC... for 35 years. <laughs> so but, this, but, you're, this is your dynamic that, duo. That's right. And I love that. So the emotional side of you with your mother, and then you called your aunt, yes. who said exactly what I was thinking. But they're both tough. Yeah. You know, they're tough. Tell you know, being, them... being raised by, by two women is like being raised by 10 men, you know? <laughs> yes, I love and, that. And so I, I call. <laughs> I called my aunt, and her eyes aren't uh, what they once were, so she has trouble dialing the yeah. phone. She has help. She's assistant. She's doing very well. Was fortunate enough to build a house down in Virginia, where wow. they're from. She came to live with us after my mom passed, and now she's in Virginia, back at home. And I'm so pleased at that. But I called her, and I said, uh, you know, I hadn't heard from you. I said, um, did you hear any news this morning? <laughs> and she said, uh, oh, yeah, I heard that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, well done. Congratulations. Uh, uh. She said, but you know, you should have gotten nominated a long time ago. You should have been, you should have been nominated for right Basquiat. this right here. <laughs> this Basquiat, right. Yeah. I, lo I love but, that your aunt said congratulations, but they should have gave it to you for Basquiat. <laughs> right. That is so real talk family. Well, you know, I used to play lacrosse uh, uh, as a kid. I didn't realize how many sports you played, but I, your mother was athletic. Yes. And you said pretty much if there was a ball or a uh, stick, you played it. I played it all. But again, there were opportunities that she put in front of me. But she would come to games. I was a goalie. And we would win a game 19 to 1. I'd have 25 saves. She'd say, what happened to that other goal? What happened to that one that got in? <laughs> you but, know? but that's how they raised that's you. Because they... that you need that kind of resilience in Hollywood. You need that resilience in life. Yes, they that had... people let you know. I'm not a fan of the soccer teams where they all the kids get to score. I'm like, you gotta have to learn that you don't always win. Yeah. Michael Jordan didn't make varsity. Yeah. You know, they they definitely had expectations. Yeah. If I got a 98 on a test, it's like, what happened to the two points? <laughs> <laughs> you know? What kind of dad are you? Are you that way? Uh, no, I try not to be. I mean, I, you know, I, I just, I'm a dad who tries to learn every day how to be a better dad. Oh. You know? And, uh... I try, I try to improve, and I have two kids who are very different yeah. kids, and... Uh, I love them both dearly, proud of them both, and yeah. uh, I've, I've, I'm the kind of dad who does the best he can. 